Hey, it's Preacher Tom Anderson, Streets of America Homeless Outreach Ministry, and on spot video, and it's another Sunday morning, and we're going out to feed our homeless. What we're doing this morning, we're doing uh, something just a little crazy. So, what I did is I got, um, where are they at? Where are they at? Oh, here's. We're going to be using 12 pounds of the bushed baked beans. Two cans are six pounds. These cans are six. No, this is a seven pound can. Seven pounds, five ounces. So, seven pounds, five ounces. And when we look at that, we got a lot of beans because we're using two cans. So, um, almost 15 pounds of beans because you figure 16 ounces and a pound so but anyway that's a lot of beans but what we're going to do with this i got them in the warmers now so i'm warming the beans up and what i've done is i've taken some venison yes you all have been asking me about when you're going to serve that venison okay i'm serving the venison this morning so well actually this afternoon but i'm cooking it now so let me show you what it looks like now i've already got it i've already taken it out and i've already started cooking some up so well don't go sideways Hold on. Watch. Let's see what I got. Well, here's the venison. I've already browned it. Let me get some more light in here. I don't have very good light. Anyways, ah, maybe this is better. You see that? I added two sticks of butter in there. Two sticks of butter to um, give it some fat. A lot of times with a venison you don't have much fat in it. And so you have to add some fat. And so what I did is I went ahead, now I don't know if when they processed this whether or not they had any fat in the venison. I'm trying to talk to you while I'm moving this crazy camera around. So, so when they did the venison and they processed it, I don't know if they put any fat in it. A lot of times they just grind it, process it, you know, they donate it. You're not allowed to sell this venison. This venison can't be sold. And uh, as it says on the packs, um, anyway, they're already throwing the packs away. I'm not going to put my hands in there. So, uh, the venison uh, needs a little fat, far as, I'm, far as I know. So, I added two sticks of butter. One stick of butter per pack. Those packs are um, almost two pounds. Um, I think it's one pound 14 ounces is how much uh, uh, one pack of the venison weighs. So I use two packs. So I'm going to take that venison as I ground it, as, as, as I've already browned it, and, um, and it's all ground up uh, when you get it out of the packs. So it's like hamburger, but I went ahead and seasoned it and got it ready. And I'm going to put it in here with these baked beans. And when I put it in here with these baked beans, that's going to be good. You're going to go, oh, just baked beans and, and, and venison? But I'm going to serve that over rice. Now, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but the baked beans and the venison, you've got the meat, you got the beans, you know, the protein and all that, but I'm going to do it over that rice. And um, if Zal is out at the waterfront today, you're going to find Zal. Zal's like, Oh, rice. I love rice. He, one thing about Zal, he loves rice. I, I, he's just a rice lover. And so he's going to be really excited if he, if I get to see him this morning or this afternoon. So we'll have to wait and see. So that's what we're serving. Along with the Hawaiian Sweet Rolls. Now, I'm not advertising these people. These people don't sponsor my channel. They don't. They don't give me nothing. I have to buy their stuff, so I'm, they're, I'm, I'm not getting anything out of this. And and as far as Bush Beans, Bushes ain't sponsoring this channel, so I'm not trying to advertise them. I'm just showing you what I'm using. So you might want to put this together yourself. If you get some of that venison that's been processed and given to the food banks, you might want to take some of that, brown it up. It's really good stuff, and put it in your you know put it in your meals, and uh, replace it with a hamburger. Because if you can get it free from the food bank. Oh man, you are a plus and way ahead because meat right now is outrageous. And so that's why we're going to actually, my wife and I, um, we're, <clears throat> we're doing our family homestead. 
as I showed you in one of the videos that I got my greenhouse and um, the back section back there, uh, we're going to actually get some goats. They have two types of goats. They have the meat goats and they have the dairy goats. So the meat goats are good to, to raise and to, to, to um, process them for meat. And then the dairy goats are great to have as, as uh, to get your milk and make your cheese and, and uh, you know, have your milk, your cheese, and, and those dairy products. So we're moving, that's, that's the way we're headed because I'm really tired of the way that these supermarkets are doing. And if we can, we'll try to implement some of that in with, with, um, with everything we do. Like you saw, I have chickens. We like to use the fresh chicken. I mean, the, everything as far as the eggs, doing the cornbread and all that stuff. So as we can, we're going to try to just do this as, as natural as possible as we do the food. Um, I used to have a channel called um, Carolina Keto. And when we were on lockdown with the COVID, I was doing the channel on Carolina Keto. And I put out um, a lot of things on doing the keto, because I was going into the keto gen, 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 I was doing the keto diet. <laughs> and when I was doing the keto diet, that's when I was, I was 269 pounds. I was, I was, or 259, 259, 269. I was heavy. I was really heavy. And so I lost all that weight and um, got down to what I am now. And I'm, um, I have weighed myself uh, from 196 to 205. Um, and I mean, fully clothed like this and everything else like that, standing on the scales, I might weigh 209. But um, I got rid of the weight. I was diabetic, had to take shots, and I was really miserable, didn't have any energy, couldn't do anything. And so when I lost the weight, and then I'm no longer diabetic, I quit sugar and all of that. And I'm just telling you, this is just a little, look, this is just a little plug in there if y'all are having trouble with losing weight. Quit the sugar. I mean, just quit the sugar. And, um, I mean, if you're heavy and you're, out and you're unhealthy and stuff like that, or if you have cancer and things like that, stop the sugar. Cancer feeds on sugar. So, just as a little note here, this is what we're serving. I don't want to get into try to tell you all that, but, but I do know a lot about as far as serving healthy things and fixing healthy things. And I did have the Carolina Keto Channel where I cooked keto meals and made, you know, um, all that. But a lot of things with the keto, you use a lot of nut flours and stuff like that. I'm prone to kidney stones. If you're prone to kidney stones, don't eat a lot of nuts because um, uh, it, it doesn't do well. I ain't got time to get into all that. But just want to let you know that... Um, I do know about as far as a lot of the healthiness and things like that, and I do know a lot of recipes. I do know how to cook. I'm not asking you for recipes because I don't know anything. I'm asking you basically because I want you to get in here with me and come up with some ideas, and let's work together. And as I do these meals, because I'm going to take your ideas and I'm going to put into the pot, and as I put into the pot and we cook these things, Eventually what I want to do is I want to kind of do like I did on Carolina Keto and show you me cooking some of these things. You might want to eat these for yourself. You might want to prepare this and eat this. I mean, because if it looks good, yeah. I found out that all the Campbell stuff, all this Campbell chunky stuff, ain't all that great. And plus they probably got a lot of preservatives and all that stuff in it. Probably high in salt and all of that stuff. So... If I can just go the old-fashioned way and just scrap together the things that you got, that's what I'm talking about. And then if I can cut up some fresh vegetables that I get out of my own garden, that I don't use pesticides, uh, you know, or anything like that, I, I, I grow it nice and clean as I can. Because uh, I'm trying to stay away from all the unhealthiness and trying to stay healthy as I can. I'd like to share that with my homeless as I do uh, do the ministry. I realize I can't do it all the time. And, and they're not eating healthy. They're not going to eat healthy. But if I can serve them something healthy, so let's just let's just do do it like this, and let's just serve these things and do what we can. And I know a lot of y'all probably smarter than I am, but uh, and and if y'all got ideas and things like that, and you you want to tell me that I'm doing things wrong and all this, stuff, why don't you get together and cook your own food and take it out to your neighbors that are homeless and get out there? Let me inspire you to get out. And help the homeless. That's what I want to do. I said before, I am not an entertainer. I'm not going to do a song and dance for you. 
I am an educator, all right? And I want to be an educator. I want to be inspiring to you that you can get out and do this very same thing. I'm not doing anything special, all right? I'm nobody special. If you give glory to anybody, give it to the Lord Jesus Christ. I am nobody. I am just a vessel that God's using to do this, and I'm glad that he is. And look, this doesn't earn me rewards to get to heaven, because the Bible says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's the gift of God, not of works. You ain't going to work it, lest any man should boast. So, I'm not, you can't boast on your works. I'm not saying look at me because I've gotten comments that says, oh, well, why are you doing that? I mean, oh, you're trying to, you're basically, they're basically saying I'm glorifying myself and see me. I don't want you to see me. I want you to see, I want you to see our homeless. I want you to learn about them and their living conditions as well as I want you to see the Lord Jesus Christ and his goodness that through a vessel such as myself, all I'm doing is I'm delivering this and trying to be a blessing. So I want you to understand, Preacher Anderson ain't nobody, okay? Get that right. Preacher Anderson ain't nobody, but God is everything. And he will help. And he fed the multitudes. He fed the 4,000 and the 5,000. There were times, I mean, you know what? And they didn't, they didn't have to meet some criteria. You know what? Some of them may have been lazy bums and all that stuff. I don't know what they were. You know, the Bible doesn't talk about all those things. And I know I've been told, why are you feeding them lazy men? They're a bunch of dope heads, drug heads, things like that. Well, maybe they are. But you know what? What, should I turn my back on them? Through what God is, is doing in this ministry, you never know what heart it might touch. That person might get, get right with God and 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 God deliver him out of that certain situation that he's in. And the next thing you know, he'll be a testimony. You need to read some of the testimonies of preachers that were homeless, drug heads. I mean, before they got before they got saved and they got saved and God used them and used them in a mighty way. So you need to start looking up some of that stuff. Go to the library, read. Get off the TV set. Quit watching YouTube. Quit watching me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, uh, uh, if I can educate. But if I'm wasting your time and, and this this is not educating and I'm not glorifying God in this, you don't need to watch me. You need to go watch somebody else, I guess. But I, I want to glorify God in everything that I do in this ministry. So I don't know how I got into talking about all this. But anyway, I want you to be inspired and go out and help somebody. The stories I hear. And now I have to cut... A lot of I have to edit a lot of the videos because they tell me personal stuff that I will I have to I have to cut it out because I don't these are things that are t talking to me in confidence but I give you just a little piece of it to let you see that they have problems and they have issues but they're really asking God for a miracle in their life so preacher Tom Anderson Streets America Homeless Outreach Ministry on spot video. I don't know how I ever came up with that one, but I, I just figured I was on the spot, and I just do a video, so I call it on spot video. So now you know how we got the name. Got the venison, got the beans, got the rice over here cooking, and um, I'll get that done. I'll get that loaded, and we're doing the sweet, uh, the Hawaiian sweet rolls and all that stuff. So we got plenty of starches. We got the venison that y'all have been asking me about. So, anyways. Let's stop talking so much and get, let's get finished cooking and let's get out there and help somebody. So, Preacher Tom Anderson, and oh, and the ice machine's working. You know, I just posted that late video telling you about the ice machine. All right, it's, it's working. So, anyway, I'm having a great morning. You know, um, God is good. He's, he's blessed me in a special way. Um, you say, how? I woke up this morning and I went... I got to breathe God's air. I got to see another day. I got to see my beautiful wife. I got to look around and say, you know what? God gave me another day to go out and help somebody. So, let's get busy and get out and do something for the Lord. Hey, today's Sunday. Go to church. Go to church. You say, preacher, why aren't you in church? Because I am going to church. I'm going out here 
and I'm trying to bring church to my homeless and bring them something to eat and bring them I'm going to break bread with my homeless and if they want to talk about the Lord I will try to interject the Lord and so uh, remember if you'll read your Bible and study, you'll find out the church is not a building. The church is not a building. The church are the saints of God. It's the people. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there will I be in the midst. So, where two or three gathered together in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are the church. All right, enough of that. All right, now, all right, you got your Sunday sermon. <laughs> all right, let's get busy. I love y'all. I really do. I really, I love y'all. I, I love your comments. Um, and all of y'all that hate me. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's, let's get busy. I'm, okay, I'm done. Not really, I am. <laughs> I'm done. Hey, it's Preacher Tom Anderson, and I just fixed me a little bowl. Um, I've already tried one little bowl already, and it's so good, I've got to eat another one. And I just think of these little small bowls, I don't eat big bowls. But I had to try it to see exactly how the venison, and the baked beans, and the, um, uh, and the rice. So I got rice under here, as you saw me put the rice in. And this is really... I mean, the sweetness of the baked beans with the venison, it's not sweet, and uh, I did season the venison, and um, the, uh, doing that, and, um, and then putting it on this rice, and I've already prayed, so I'm not eating like a heathen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, if you don't pray for your food, I'm sorry. But anyways, I, they talk about it as the heathens do, so I, I do try to, you know, always thank God, because I do thank the Lord for my food. So, anyways. But this... The, the baked beans have a sweet taste. You add that venison meat in there. And those beans and all. And this is... Man, this is out of this world. This is really good. I did not know that it would be this good. But doing the baked beans with the venison and the rice, it's a plus. It is definitely a go. And then I'm going to do the Hawaiian sweet rolls. And I'll show you the, I'll show you everything fixing to go out. Because we're, it's still kind of early. So I'm not really ready to go out yet. I'm sorry to eat in front of you. But you've got to try this. You have got to try this. Man, this is good. And, um, you know, I don't eat, I, I got away from sugar. And this has got sugar in it because of the sugar in the beans. And um, so I don't, I don't eat a lot of this. But uh, um, I, and I do on occasion. And stuff has sugar in it all the time, stuff that you go with. So you can't really avoid it. But I try not to deliberately do it. So I've got sugar substitutes. But this is good. That's my guilty conscience <laughs> eating me, so I have to keep explaining to you, like, well, you know I don't eat sugar. I know it's got sugar in it. I'm sorry. I, didn't mean to. <laughs> I don't care. I just know that I watch my weight and I try to be very frugal and be very careful. And, uh, but this, I'm talking with your mouth full. You might spit it on somebody. <laughs> I'm going to spit my food on nobody. So, this is a this is definitely a go. So let me um let me finish this. I don't want to get cold because it's, it's really good. And I'll show you what I'm taking out today. Because I'm taking out this that I fixed, and then the, the rice. And I'm waiting for my other batch of rice to get done over here. I still got another batch of rice I'm getting done. So I have plenty of rice. Some cherry pie. I had a couple. I have four corn corn muffins. Um, that were in the freezer, and I don't know if they're corn muffins as a sweet corn dessert, but I put those over here with the cherry pies. I'll give those out as well. And then I have the sweet Hawaiian rolls, the Hawaiian sweet rolls. Um, 
and this, all right, so it's, I think that's going to be good. Plus the Gatorades and the water uh, and everything else that I give to drink out. And, you, and I, I, I try not, I'm not, I'm not going to try to give out a lot of orange juice and stuff because it's so packed with sugar. And the Gatorades are too. I actually, the Gatorades that I drink back at home that I have come on a regular basis, those Gatorades are zero sugar. They're, you know, you have to get the, the, the zero sugar. And, um, so, and, and I gotta look through the ingredients to make sure there's not something in there that's, that's really bad for me, so I'm not sure, but um, they're supposed to be for, you know, keto and all that stuff. And I try to use, I'm not, I'm not in keto, but I, I use their guidelines as far as watching the carbs and all that stuff and watching the, well, anyways, let me finish eating this and I'll show you what we got. Then we're gonna get out. Hip somebody! Hip somebody! Okay, Preacher Tom Anderson, and we are serving, today we have the let you see this a little better. We have the venison and the baked beans. Look at that. That venison meat in there. Man, that looks so good. So we got the venison meat with the beans. We have two big pots of this. Then we have sweet rolls. I was going to do cornbread, but I thought, nah, that's overkill. So, I thought the rolls would be good if they want that. Then we have some uh, corn muffins and some cherry pie down in the bottom. And then we have our big old batch of rice. So, hopefully that'll be enough. And then, as you see, I got everything set up. So, all right. Coolers are loaded. And we're ready. If you like the videos, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll keep you updated on all the videos. And thank you for all of you that's been praying for the ministry. Thank all of you for who've been financially donating. And thank you for just being out there. All my new subscribers, all my subscribers, uh, I don't count you as just subscribers I count you as friends so thank you for all that you do for this channel all that you do for our homeless preacher Tom Anderson Street Smarker Homeless Outreach Ministry on spot I video God bless you you shave did you shave cut it I tried to oh. I, tried. <laughs> I, tried. I said who's that little boy walking up here <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh there ain't no snakes in there so there oh, there, there more than likely is. I, I don't care. Preacher? I don't care if there's oh, snakes or not. Are you doing all right? So, what's going on? What, why do um, you look swollen? Oh, because uh, I had a 2 by 4 hit me in the face yet yesterday. Yeah, you look swollen. Yeah, a 2 by 4 hit me in the face yesterday. It swung back like we, we hit it with a sledgehammer and it came back. Did you hit it back? Well, he probably I, I, tore it, I, tore, I tore it out and then actually uh, dropped the... Keys. Drop the whole roof with it. Who? Um, I Tim got, got I got a, no, no, I got some tenants. Uh, my okay. storage shed that I had. They probably sword. think I'm the cops or something. No, 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 <laughs> I, told, I told them about that today. Oh, okay. Um, no, no, that's Joey. Joey's good. Don't worry about Joey. Um, but Tammy, she'll be over here in a minute. Okay. Um, but yeah, I had raccoons going toward another. I got two giant holes in my tent now, and it's horrible. What? Hey, it's got the extendable legs. You can do it low or you can do it high. Doesn't make any difference. And um, and I put you a couple of thermometers in there so you can check your meat. Look, you got a plate there for to catch all that grease. Yeah, or hey, catch the uh. Preach me. Yep. Like, like, would it be bad if I give you a hug right now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't mind. That's just what I'm trying, talking about. Just trying that, to take care of you guys. That's what I'm talking this about right Joey. there. This hey, is Joey. Joey. What's going on, Joey? Um, Meet you too, buddy. This is Tammy coming up. Her old man's over there. Yeah. Somewhere. Her old man's doing out doing something. But uh, I let them get my small tent. Remember the small tent? You know, you see my area. Yeah. So they, so they, they got the small tent now because I was trying to look out for them. Right. Right. And 
and uh, you know I had good favor, so. Oh, you, some reading glasses. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I try to remember well, everything. I can't get everything, but I try it. And. Uh, All right, so Tammy, this is this is preacher man. Hi dear, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing, Miss Tammy? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Um, uh, Josh, that's 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 Josh. Josh. Oh, yeah, I was wondering. I was right there. Who? Who's that? Josh. That's her. That's her boyfriend. Okay. What? I heard. He's a boy and he's a boy. I heard. I heard what she said. We don't know what he is yesterday or today. How long y'all been in town? All right, I'll talk to you later. For a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for, for uh, off and on for a while. Oh, okay. All right, that's probably why I hadn't seen you because I'm... I was in hotel yesterday. Um, I was okay. some people out to pay for their room and all, and they turned around and robbed me. Well, no, that's not unusual. I mean, not, not what I'm seeing yeah. nowadays. It's like... It happens. It's cool, though. Yeah, it does. What flavor you want? Um, nothing red. I take the nothing red. Nope. Take the orange. Oh, man. Take the. Right. I'm allergic to red dye number five. I don't know what Gatorade has in it. Gatorade if it's red. red, it's got to be red dye. All of it. <laughs> All right. Stay away from it. Clearly. Is that Tell what color you want? Man. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it don't make no difference. <laughs> I'll drink All right. And this is... Preacher man, this is Josh. Josh? Yeah. I got a lot of Joshes out here. Yeah, ain't it? Right. I'm, the only, I'll be the only one you meet originally like this. <laughs> there you go. Well, it looks like you. Yeah. <laughs> but I got some other Joshes. Josh. There's a, there's and um, <coughs> and then there's Josh. Yeah, Joshua. I call him Joshua. Yeah, and everybody else called Josh. Josh. I think I met him. He was, he was on a bicycle. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. Well, he was, but I think last uh, last week he had, his bike had two flat tires. Somebody flattened mine <laughs> and stole my bike. He got his bike fixed. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. What you got today? Oh, all right. Um. What you got? Well. What you got? I don't know what I got. You don't know. Yeah. You sure you want to know? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> I have. It, it smells good. Smells well, barbecue. Bring well, it's baked beans. Mm -hmm. It's got you the baked beans. Mm -hmm. And uh, I cooked the venison. Oh, put the venison in there understand. with the beans well, i made a batch of rice man it is oh i tried some and i went on he's got venison today yeah 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 it's 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 processed it's 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 the food bank oh, no, no, the food bank good. gives it out and uh well, you give us? man well, you give i had us some of it i had some well it's the same stuff the yeah. same the, yeah well, it's that not the same one. Like we but. made burgers out of it one day. And yeah, I'm gonna get you some more. Yeah, I'm gonna get you some more. So, but it's some good stuff. Right. I well, I didn't want to back up all the way over there like I hey, did it's last no time. Problem. Well, I did that last week because you weren't there. Nobody was there, and um, so. Oh, I went to work last Sunday. Yeah, I know. Well, you were at a friend's house. Yeah, I was at yeah I was at friend's house waiting to go to work, but it never. Yeah, right. I sat there for an hour today, and then I finally called him. I'm like, hey, man, what's up, man? Yeah, that guy called me to go to work. All right, good to go. You should have called me and let me know, and I would have went to work. Oh, I do everything. <laughs> no, 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 I don't do everything, man. I don't do everything. I don't do everything. Hey, some calls just don't want to take. Not that way. Oh, no, I wouldn't walk up, Terry. Josh. What's up, Terry? Hey, I'm going to be younger, man. Terry! What's going on, Terry? There we go. We got a name beside preacher. What time is it? You are early. TNT. You are early. Church gentlemen, if you don't mind, uh, if you possibly want to uh, maybe get a plate for for uh, James as well, I'm going to hold it. Where's James at? He's not here right now, but I do want to save a plate for him, though. Okay. I don't want to be, you know, I want to be respectable. 
Well, yeah, I was going to check on them, but... Because um, them boys, like, you know, I they, they look out for me, so I try to look out for them. Right. Okay, well... I always hate messing with that pie. Ugh, it's a bit messy. Now, I don't know who's getting this first one, but it's got cherry pie here. I'll put a piece of cherry pie there. So. Yeah, I'm 